if I rotate my coordinate system counterclockwise, <laughs> my object is rotated back 30 degree clockwise, right? Does everyone agree to that? Same thing. If I move my coordinate system to A, B, C, <coughs> the object moves back what? Minus A, minus B, minus C, right? So if I rotate my coordinate system theta, the object rotates minus theta, right? Same concept, right? Anyone has questions on that? Or everyone is good? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say rotation along the x-axis minus theta. So this is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, cosine minus 30, minus sine minus 30, 0, 0, sine minus 30, cosine minus 30, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Everyone agrees to that? Or you want to explain more? The next thing is I'm going to move my coordinate system, the tilted coordinate system, to point one, one, one. If I move my coordinate system to point one, 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 again means I move my object back, minus one, minus one, minus one, right? I just explained that before. Very simple. 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Step 3, I'm going to rotate along the y axis now. Why y axis? Because this I tilted. So L1 becomes coincident to uh, Y axis. Now I translated this to 1, 1, 1. Now this L2 becomes coincident with the Y of the new coordinate system, right? You see, look at my hand. I tilted my coordinate system. You see it now. I translated here. Look at my middle finger. Coincident on L2, right? That's what I'm going to do. And again, we have that information. Rotation along the y axis is this matrix. So I simply go here. And rotation is 90 degrees, so it's going to be cosine 90, 0, sine 90, 0, and y is constant 0, 1, 0, 0. Then it's going to be minus sine 90, <coughs> cosine 90, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right? So I get rotation along the y axis. Everyone is clear on that before I proceed? Now, I have the coordinate the new coordinate related to my new coordinate system. The new point in relation with my new coordinate system. But I want a relation of the new point with reference of the original coordinate system. So I have to move my coordinate system back and retilt it back of how it looks like originally. So simply, this is my tilted coordinate system. So what I'm going to do, first I'm going to translate it back where it belongs. It's still tilted though, right? Then I'm going to return it back 30 degrees. So the next matrix is what? Is bring it back where it belongs. 1, 0, 0, plus 1 this time. 0, 1, 0, plus 1. 0, 0, 0, plus 1. 0, 0, 0, 1. <coughs> Everything is good. I have my, the only thing that is that we have a, til a tilted coordinate system. Uh, you're missing something in the second matrix. And in the oh, exactly. It's a zero here. It's like a minus sign, zero, cosine, zero, 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 one. So you want zero. Another zero.
<coughs> so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to move my coordinate system and make it straight. It was tilted, right? So if I move it back for a value of minus 30, right? Because now I'm getting it clockwise. If I tilt it back <coughs> clockwise, it means that it has been rotate the object back counterclockwise, right? So simply, I have the next method that we added next to it. So I'm going to add 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, cosine 30, minus sine 30, 0, 0, sine minus 30, 30, cosine 30, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And that will answer the, this is the answer to the question we just made out of the There's a simple, right? There's just like a plug it in and 